What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE Survivor Series 2021 predictions video. Now guys, before we get into the video, there's just one or two things that I want to actually say. Firstly, I'm not watching this show live, uh, unfortunately this year. I've just got no interest in this pay-per-view. There's no interest on my behalf for Survivor Series this year. I'm just not really feeling it, unfortunately. I will be giving you my reactions. What I'm instead going to do is instead of staying up until 5, 6 o'clock in the morning to watch the show and then upload my reactions straight away, I'll actually set an alarm for about 8 a.m. Uh, on Monday morning, wake up and then make all my reaction videos, upload them at that point instead. So they'll be coming to you a little bit later, but you will still be getting them. And other than that, yeah, I'm just not really into the pay-per-view, but we'll give you my predictions anyway. I think the build for it has been terrible. I think I'm, in a, I'm a bit annoyed at WWE anyway, so I think maybe subconsciously uh, I'm, I'm just sort of a bit in protest uh, I'm, I'm annoyed about all the recent releases. I'm annoyed about how they booked the shows recently. It's just not going good. WWE and I aren't really getting along at the moment. But yeah, that's enough rambling from me. Without further ado, let's get right into the first Survivor Series match. The first match on the Survivor Series card this year is the Raw Tag Team Champions, RK Bro, taking on the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos. The Raw Tag Champs, the SmackDown Tag Champs, they're going head to head. Who do I think is going to win? I'm actually predicting the Usos to beat RK Bro in this match, making SmackDown one point ahead from the offset. Next up on the card is a match that has. Basically zero build. The United States champion and the Intercontinental champion going against each other. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Damian Priest. Who's going to win? Damian Priest is. Why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm pretty sure we've all forgotten Shinsuke Nakamura is actually the Intercontinental champion. He hasn't really done anything with the title since he beat Apollo Crews. And uh, it's quite unfortunate really because... Basically, all of Shinsuke's title reigns have been really bad with the Intercontinental Championship, which is a shame, uh, but it's, you know, it's the truth. What has he done? I mean, literally last night on SmackDown, he just fought Angel Garza. There's been no build whatsoever. Damian Priest hasn't come over. The two haven't squared off against each other. And speaking of Damian Priest, he's not really been up to much either. I think the whole month of November with the whole Raw versus SmackDown thing just really puts a stop on the champions uh, and, and their momentum, really, because all they care about is facing the opposite champion to the title they hold, so they're not really defending or doing anything with it. Priest hasn't really done anything with the United States Championship this month. I think a big win over Shinsuke Nakamura uh, will hopefully get him back on track. So Damian Priest is my prediction, making it 1-1. Up next, we have the women's five-on-five five traditional Survivor Series tag team matchup. Now, the participants for Team Raw are as follows. Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Zelina Vega, Queen Zelina. The team members for Team SmackDown are Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, Natalia, and Tony. Storm. Who do I think's winning this one? I'll tell you who. The winner of this Survivor Series matchup will be Team Raw. Now, I don't really have a main particular reason for this, or I do, but it'll be a spoiler for later on in the video. Uh, but I, I, I think out of all the matches on the card, unfortunately, uh, this one's probably the least significant. Uh, saying that, all the Survivor Series matches aren't really significant because the whole brand supremacy thing... No one really cares about it anymore. Um, but yeah, I think Team Raw are going to be winning this one. We've just done the women's, so now it's time for the men's. Five on five traditional Survivor Series tag team matchup. Team Raw is as follows. Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory. Taking on Team Smackdown, Drew McIntyre, King Woods. Is he still King Woods? Reigns destroyed his crown last night, but still, King Woods or Xavier Woods, Jeff Hardy, Happy Corbin, and newly announced Sheamus, who won a fatal four-way last night on SmackDown. Who do I think is going to win this one? Team SmackDown are winning this one, and that is mainly because 
The captain of Team Raw is Seth Rollins. Second to him is Kevin Owens. These two aren't going to get along. I really feel like these two are just going to absolutely just batter each other and cost Team Raw the match because they just won't, they won't be able to keep their uh, emotions under control. They will just keep fighting. So I think Team Raw is going to capitalise. I didn't do it for the women's, uh, but that means that it is actually 2-2, two -two, I believe. And uh, also, I, I didn't do for the women's. If there is a sole survivor, it's going to be Drew McIntyre. But my prediction for this match is Team SmackDown. Up next, we have the match on Survivor Series that probably has the best build. And that's because WWE didn't have to build it. The story has built itself. Ever since they switched titles, it is the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch, taking on the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Now, obviously, these two have a bit of a heat with each other. IRL, we don't know how severe that heat is if they're playing it up uh, to build the match or whatever. But we know that when they switched the championships uh, last month or whenever it was, not too long ago, uh, that when they aggressively threw the titles at each other, that's where it all stemmed from. And since that point, they've just been trash talking each other in interviews. Becky Lynch is taking on Charlotte Flair. Who do I think is going to win? Come on. It's big time, Bex. The man, Becky Lynch, is going to beat Charlotte Flair once again, taking it to three, that was five, three, two for Monday Night Raw. And finally, the main event of the evening is the WWE Champion versus the Universal Champion, Big E, taking on Roman Reigns. Now, they haven't really done much build to this. It was only last night where we actually saw uh, Big E and Roman Reigns lock horns for the first time. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm... As much as I love Big E as WWE Champion, you have to be a fool to think that he's going to beat the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns will be winning this match. Uh, I don't know if he wins it clean or not. I know he beat Drew McIntyre by guillotine submission last year. So maybe he'll he'll submit Big E as well. Or not submit him, but, you know, make him pass out. Something like that to protect Big E. Uh, but either way, I think whoever wins, whoever loses, the loser does need protecting. And, uh, yeah, I think 100%. We all know it's going to be Roman Reigns winning. So... If I'm not mistaken, that takes it to three for Raw, three for SmackDown. We have a tie here, ladies and gentlemen. But there you go. That was my Survivor Series predictions. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear. Are you guys excited for this pay-per-view? If you are, honestly, I'm jealous because, you know, it's one of the big four, uh, even though it's not really treated as such anymore. But I'm just not looking forward to it at all at all so that's why i'm not going to stay up and watch it live but yeah once again let me know your predictions in the comment section down below i've been joe from joe talks russia and you guys have been awesome like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys at survivor series